tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. It's my dream project to have something on mainstream TV and hopefully the Lord will listen to my prayer one day because I want to do a show that features all of these unique kinds of ensemble, unique uh, artists or, or unique performances not the usual, because you can easily get that YouTube la, and dame, di ba? But something that is specially put together, well curated, with uh, different artists from the Philippines, and and of course, uh, trying to, to to showcase all of these unique presentations. That's my bucket list. Hopefully, in the future, we can have something like that, Sama. something very oh, oh dapat kasama ka. <laughs> no, it's so beautiful. Can you share Indeed. the? the essence of that song wow beautiful message like uh god uh, really never want anyone to suffer he wants everybody to be victorious and he wants everybody to shine like stars across the sky because we were born to shine all of us wow. here because we believe but it's it's beautiful how you can uh, how you have tran you know a translated version in beautiful lyrics tagalog classical tagalog can be very beautiful mm -hmm. you know and sung in that manner because we have a wealth of uh, classical filipino songs you oh. know you 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 you're not the typical opera performer i mean it's like a josh group and he's not typical Kaya, you pop opera pagka crossover i mean sometimes you will just sweep them off the off their feet once you begin to sing something like you know uh, something from from verdi or or you know some high opera and then bigla ka mag switch to let's say uh, uh, uh oem piece like the one you sang yesterday by wensi corneo and that was beautiful thank you <laughs> <laughs> so you know um we're in our last 25 minutes of the show but uh you know we've only scratched the surface of who is jonathan badon our uh the philippines favorite prince of pop opera and uh a lot of people know you as a singer but very few know you as a visual artist and you know jonathan um sharing this time with you your music your art uh, sharing a little bit about you know what what you have inside it's, it's really been so uh su such an enriching experience for me and i'm sure that our audience out there are now interested to hear more of you and see more of you and once again i would like to invite all our friends if you want to listen to jonathan baton he has some live streaming projects it's such a privilege for me to have him tonight sharing his insights sharing his artistry at uh, naging kwentuhan lang kami tungkol sa mga journey niya as an artist at uh, tip of the iceberg lang po yan so kung gusto niyo pa siya kung gusto niyo po siyang mapakinggan remember meron po siyang show sa Facebook by request every Saturday at 4 o'clock and then antabayanan niyo siya because once in a while he has a show called Night Cup and uh, I think there you will see him performing different songs and um you know the filipino artist is really such uh, a strong and very uh powerful force we have artists from all walks of life from all genres from classical to pop to broadway to opm from djs to dancers to singers and ngayon po lahat nasa internet na and in my show, I'd like to bring some of them and invite them over para ma makilala nyo sila at uh, madinig ang kanilang boses at makita kung ano ang kanilang uh, mga nililika or mga pinaperform na mga materiales para sa inyong, uh, for your listening pleasure and for you to appreciate. And once again... Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.